Yo, what's happening guys and welcome to your fourth MongoDB for beginners tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you what collections are all about and how to create a model. Okay, so we already know how we can have multiple database instances running in MongoDB and in each database we can have multiple collections to store our data in. So, for example, we could have one project which has a database and in that database we can store a collection of Mario characters and a collection of Donkey Kong characters. And we could have another database for a different project and in that we could store a collection of currencies on a collection of flags. Okay, So each logical set of data that we're storing would be represented by a single collection within a given database, right? So we wouldn't store a Mario character in the Donkey Kong characters collection. Doesn't make sense. So, a single collection can contain multiple different records. For example, we have these two collections here, Mario characters and Donkey Kong characters. And in this collection, the Mario characters, we have different records. We've got two different records here, one that has a name of Mario and one that has a name of Yoshi. So, each of these different characters with different property values represents a single record in this Mario characters collection. Make sense, yeah? So we say the model for this collection is called Mario character and only records based on the Mario character model are going to be stored in this collection. We're not going to store a record based on a Donkey Kong model in this Mario characters collection. That doesn't make sense. Another important thing to remember about models is that they have what's known as a schema. So if we look at one of these records, they follow a particular pattern. They have a name and a weight and the name expects a string and the weight expects a number. So this is what's known as the schema of this model. The schema tells the model, hey, I expect these properties which should be of this type. So every model has a particular schema unique to that model. So we have our database representing our project. In the database, we have the different collections and each one is based on a particular model. And in the collections themselves, we have a collection of records and each record or each collection of records is based on a schema, okay? Make sense? So now what we're gonna do is go and create a model and a schema for our project. So this is where we got up to in the last tutorial. We connected to MongoDB and specifically we connected to this database instance, all right? So now what we want to do is create a new model for Mario characters, for example, and create a schema for each of the records based on this model to be based on, if you like. OK, so we're telling MongoDB how each of these records in this collection should look like using the schema. Now, it sounds a bit more complex than it actually is. So the best way to demonstrate is to create a model itself. So I'm going to go to the root folder and create a new folder. And this folder is going to be called models. And inside here, I'm going to create a new file, and this is going to be the model name, so we'll call it MarioCar.js. Okay? So these are going to be based on Mario characters, if you like. So, first thing we need to do is say const mongoose equals require mongoose. So we're requiring mongoose again, because we're going to use it in this file. The second thing we're going to do is say const schema equals mongoose dot schema okay so we're requiring this because we're going to use the schema property or object if you like to create a new mario character schema so let's create a comment saying create schema and model all right so we'll create the schema first of all we'll say const mario car schema and we'll set that equal to a new schema which is this thing right here remember okay so that's why we required this thing here so inside this we pass in an object and inside this object we're going to give it different properties and what we'd expect those types to be so we're going to expect every mario character to have a name property and that we'd expect to be a string right so that's all we say and we want mario characters to maybe have a weight and that is going to be a number in kilograms and that's all there is to it. We've created our schema. Now, just because we've said we expect characters to have a weight, it doesn't mean they have to have a weight. It's optional. 
So we could create an instance of a Mario character which doesn't have a weight, it just has a name. But if it does have a weight, then it's going to expect it. And it's going to expect that weight property to be a number. Make sense? All right, cool. So now we've created our schema, we can create our model. So let's say const Mario car equals mongoose dot model. So we're using this method called model to create a new model. And this model needs a name. So we're going to call this Mario car, right? So this is essentially going to be our collection name. So that is the name of the model. And then we're going to base this model on a particular schema, this schema right here. So let's copy this dude and paste it in here. So what this is telling Mongoose is, hey, look, every time this coder or whatever creates a new Mario character, OK, we're going to create it in this collection. This is going to be the model and we're going to base it on this schema. Make sense? OK, one more thing I want to do is say module dot exports and I'm going to set that equal to Mario Kart. So we're exporting this now so we can use it in other files in this project. So now what we've done is created a schema and a model based on that schema. So in future tutorials, what we're going to be doing is something like this. We're going to be saying something like var um, my character equals new Mario character, right? And then pass it through some different properties which match up to these things right here. So we can do this because we've created this model and this schema. OK, so that's it for this tutorial. In the next one, I'm going to introduce you to Mocha because we're going to set up a test environment where we can test saving, reading, deleting, updating to the MongoDB database.